Elon Musk's water-powered engine. Could this innovation be the future of technology in the United States? Elon Musk, a name many associate with innovation and breaking barriers, seems ready for another technological revolution, this time with a water-powered engine. The man who brought us high-performance electric cars and reusable rockets is now betting on a new technology that could forever change transportation and energy. A water-powered engine that emits only steam as a byproduct. It's an idea that sounds like it came straight out of a science fiction movie. But Musk is working to make it a reality. And this reality could be especially important for the future of the United States. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates on this video. The idea of an engine that uses water instead of gasoline or conventional electricity already sounds intriguing. But let's dive deeper. How does it work in practice? And what would be the real impacts if this technology gained traction? Could we actually have a more sustainable future where each car contributes to cleaner air and where the United States leads the global clean energy market? Let's take a look at what's behind the water-powered engine, the benefits and challenges it presents, and why this innovation might be exactly what we need to take the next big step toward a sustainable future. Let's get straight to the point. How does this technology actually work? It's a bit technical, but basically, the water engine uses something called reverse electrolysis. For those unfamiliar, electrolysis is a common process that uses electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is an extremely powerful fuel, but it usually requires electricity from another source, like coal or natural gas, to be separated and used. In Musk's water engine, however, the process works in reverse. So what Tesla is doing is combining hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity, which then powers the car. And the best part? The only byproduct of this process is water vapor. Imagine you drive your car, and instead of releasing harmful gases, it simply emits a bit of water vapor into the environment. It's a radical shift compared to traditional engines, which release tons of carbon dioxide and other pollutants. The interesting part of this technology is that it doesn't require a lithium battery, as traditional electric cars do. Instead, water-powered vehicles store hydrogen and oxygen in separate tanks, and these elements are combined to generate the electricity needed to power the vehicle. This eliminates the need for lithium mining, which is a costly and sometimes environmentally harmful process. Moreover, the lack of a large battery means fewer charging issues and fewer parts that wear out over time. And here comes an interesting question for us to consider. Could cars in the future operate without the need for lengthy recharges, offering clean and reliable performance without the environmental impact of batteries? This is the type of question Musk wants to answer with this new technology. Now that we know how the water engine works, let's put it in perspective and compare it to the technologies we have today. A combustion engine, like those powered by gasoline, works by converting a mixture of fuel and air into mechanical energy. But the efficiency is relatively low. Only about 20 to 30% of the fuel's energy is actually utilized. The rest is lost as heat. This type of engine also emits a lot of carbon dioxide, which contributes to global warming and air pollution. Electric engines, which rely on lithium-ion batteries, are much more efficient. They can achieve an efficiency of 85% to 90%, making better use of the energy. However, batteries bring their own issues, like recharge time and wear over time. Not to mention that producing these batteries requires materials like lithium and cobalt, the extraction of which impacts the environment. So where does Elon Musk's water engine fit in? It's somewhere in the middle, with an efficiency of around 60%. This means it's not as efficient as an electric motor, but it's much cleaner than gasoline engines and, on top of that, doesn't require the same slow charging infrastructure as electric vehicles. And the fact that it emits only water vapor as a byproduct is a major plus. When put into perspective, the water engine offers a combination of convenience and sustainability that the other two types of engines still can't match. So here's the point. Instead of spending time at a charging station, the driver of a water engine car could refuel quickly, just like we do today at a gas station. And this brings us to the next topic. The idea of a water engine sounds incredible on paper, but it's important to consider how it would fit into the real world. One of the major challenges Musk and his team face is the lack of infrastructure to support hydrogen-powered vehicles. Currently, if you want to refuel a hydrogen car in the United States, you'll most likely need to be in California the state with the most hydrogen refueling stations. And even there, 
They're not everywhere. Expanding this infrastructure across the entire country is no simple task. Besides the cost of building new fueling stations, there are safety issues to consider. Hydrogen is highly flammable and storing it at high pressure requires special tanks and strict regulations to ensure there are no leaks. In other words, it's not just a matter of installing a new type of gas station. It requires building an entirely new, safe, and efficient network. Furthermore, there's the question of how hydrogen is produced. Most hydrogen today comes from natural gas, a process that still emits carbon dioxide. So for Musk's water engine to be truly sustainable, it would be necessary to invest in ways to produce hydrogen cleanly through renewable sources like solar and wind power. Just imagine solar farms or wind parks spread across the United States, producing green hydrogen to power water engine cars. This is the kind of scenario that could help drastically reduce the country's carbon footprint. But we're talking about a heavy investment and a complete change in the way the country produces and distributes energy. It's not something that happens overnight, but if there is anyone willing to try, it's Elon Musk. So let's talk about the environmental impact. In the United States, especially in cities like New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago, air pollution is a serious issue. Most of this pollution comes from vehicles that release carbon dioxide and other pollutants into the air. Now imagine a future where every car on the streets of these cities emits only water vapor. It sounds too good to be true, right? But with the water engine, this isn't so far-fetched. In addition to improving air quality in cities, the reduction in CO2 emissions would be a major step in combating climate change. Transportation is one of the largest sources of carbon dioxide, and a shift to vehicles that emit only vapor could make a real difference. Of course, this wouldn't solve all of the world's environmental problems, but it would be a significant step forward. Furthermore, producing this type of vehicle could reduce dependence on materials like lithium and cobalt, which are required for electric car batteries. Mining these materials can be harmful to the environment and local communities, so any technology that can reduce this need is a positive step for the environment. If the water engine truly becomes popular, the United States could be on the path to becoming a global leader in sustainable technology. And this isn't just about status. There are real benefits for the country. First, imagine how many jobs would be created if this technology gained traction. From engineers developing engines to technicians building refueling stations, the demand for skilled workers could be huge. And this new infrastructure could also help revitalize areas of the United States that currently rely on the fossil fuel industry. With the transition to hydrogen, these regions could find a new source of economic growth, fostering a more diversified economy that is less dependent on oil and gas. Another important point is energy independence. Today, the United States still imports a significant amount of oil. With the water engine, the country could reduce its reliance on foreign fossil fuels and instead focus on producing energy locally, especially if hydrogen can be generated from renewable sources like wind and solar. This would give the United States more control over its own energy, protecting the economy from sudden oil price fluctuations and making the country more energy self-sufficient. Imagine a scenario in which the United States leads the world in hydrogen vehicles, exporting this technology to other countries while also promoting its own energy security. It would be a huge shift in terms of global influence and could even help reduce geopolitical tensions related to oil, which have been a source of conflict for decades. Of course, like any groundbreaking innovation, the water engine won't gain popularity overnight, and there are significant challenges to overcome. First, there's the cost. The water engine technology and the creation of hydrogen infrastructure aren't cheap. Building this refueling network with all necessary safety precautions represents a multi-billion dollar investment. Companies, investors, and even the government would need to work together to make this technology accessible to the average consumer. Another point is the fuel itself, hydrogen. Although it's the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen isn't available in its pure form in nature. It needs to be extracted, and doing this sustainably is still a challenge. As mentioned, hydrogen is often obtained from natural gas, which isn't exactly clean. The alternative is to use electrolysis powered by renewable energy sources. But this requires a lot of electricity and advanced technology to be feasible on a large scale. And there's more, convincing people to adopt this technology. As you've probably noticed, the water engine is quite different from combustion or electric engines. This means that many consumers may have concerns about the safety, reliability, 
and even the convenience of refueling with hydrogen. Tesla and other companies involved in this technology will have to convince the public that this is a safe and efficient option, which is no easy task. Imagine the experience of driving a hydrogen-powered car. Instead of stopping at a gas station or waiting hours to recharge a battery, you could refuel your car in a few minutes, and all it would leave behind is water vapor. For people who regularly drive in polluted cities, the idea of a car that doesn't contribute to air pollution is appealing. In a future where these vehicles are on the streets, it would be interesting to see how air quality in U.S. cities improves over time. And in addition, there's an economic factor. Since these engines have fewer moving parts and don't require frequent oil changes, they could significantly reduce long-term maintenance costs. Instead of dealing with frequent repairs and maintenance, the driver of a water-powered car could see their car running well, for longer, with fewer mechanical issues. And of course, a car with lower maintenance and operational costs is always appealing to consumers. But let's be realistic. The real impact of a technology like this will only be felt when it's accessible and easy to use for the general public. This means that companies like Tesla will need to ensure these cars are sold at competitive prices, in addition to developing a robust hydrogen refueling network. And here's an important question for the future. Are Americans ready to fully transition to sustainable transportation that uses water as an energy source? Elon Musk's idea for a water engine is undoubtedly bold. We're not just talking about a new product line, but an entirely new vision for the future of mobility and energy. If successful, this technology could transform transportation and the way we use the planet's resources, while also strengthening the United States' position as a global leader in innovation and sustainability. But as always, the path to success is not easy. There are technical, economic, and social challenges ahead. Building the necessary infrastructure, developing sustainable ways to produce hydrogen, and gaining public trust. All of these are critical steps. Still, if there is anyone who has shown the ability to break barriers and redefine industries, that person is Elon Musk. For those living in the United States, this innovation isn't just another technological novelty. It's a promise of a cleaner, more self-sufficient, and more resilient future. After all, reducing our dependence on fossil fuels and building a more sustainable transportation system is not just an environmental necessity. It's an opportunity to strengthen the economy and improve the quality of life for everyone. So when we ask whether the water engine could be the next big step for American technology, the answer is maybe. With the right effort, investment, and vision, this dream could become reality. And who knows? In a few years, water-powered cars might be a common sight on the streets of the United States, and we'll look back and wonder how we lived so long without them. What do you think? Leave your comment.